Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the import and export options for POP video. So I'm going to talk about stuff like uh, context sensitive dragging, dragging your videos in in different ways and what results from that, as well as uh, cropping and output size and video compatibility and all that fun stuff. So let's get started first of all by going to our export tab. If you don't have your export tab open, you can always go to window and export panel. All right, so there's a couple things in this uh, export uh, tab that we'll get to in just a moment. But the first thing we want to do is talk about context sensitive uh, dragging in your videos. So currently we have a new project, nothing on our screen right now. Let's go to uh, our explore window that we have open right here. So there's a couple different ways to drag in videos into your scene. Um, you left click and drag all of them, by the way. Um, however, the, the type of video that you, uh, that you drag in will uh, result in different uh, tools coming up when you import them into pop video. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this uh, spaceship video of a, it's a quick time movie. You can see if I mouse over it, it's just an MOV, a uh, quick time movie. I'm going to left click and drag that onto my screen and that's just going to load up my video in regular mode right here. I can play back and you can see the space shuttle taking off. If we wanted to uh, take this video and export it uh, with different speed, uh, different frame rate or anything like that, we can do so by going over here to frame rate, adjusting that. Um, currently we have the frame rate set at 30. If you increase the export speed percentage, uh, that will allow you to create a faster video. So it'll go like up to 500 times faster than it originally would or up to 20% of the original speed. So keep that in mind. All right. And that's pretty simple. Uh, if you import in a regular video, you have these options to, uh, import our output, our output, sorry, export uh, a frame range if you want. You can choose the frame range. You can also use this slider right here to select your uh, frame range, a uh, little green triangle slider there. And uh, those all affect the frame rate, export speed, and the, the amount of video that you export. So those are the basic tools right there. Now I'm going to import in another Explorer video. This time I'm going to choose a video, this Bluebird right here. Now this is a QuickTime movie that uh, contains some alpha data as well. It has an alpha channel on it. So see what happens when I left click and drag this in. We come, we have another tool come up. Uh, basically what's happening now is if we go to our edit tab, we now have the mask video and image uh, tool that automatically comes up and the alpha channel uh, information will load into right here. And from here, you can go to your mask uh, video settings and you can see our mask mode rather, and you can see the alpha mask of this bird flying through the sky. And you can see transparent video mode and see the same thing. All right, so that's what ha that's what will happen when you left click and drag in a MOV video that already has alpha channel information on it. So let's go back to our explore window right here. Now you can try to import in other videos as well. Say for example, this one right here, this is an MP4. So I'm gonna try and left click and drag this in, but notice when I try this one, we have a little uh, cancel or a little not available symbol there on the bottom. So you can't click and drag in MP4s or any of those other videos. The types of videos that you can import in uh, by clicking and dragging are AVI, WMV, MPEG, MPG, and MOVs. So you do not need to uh, download an additional codec to click and drag these uh, videos in. So let's start a new project here. Say for example, I did want to use an MP4 or another format of video. Uh, then what I need to do is import it in manually. So I'm going to go to import file and let's go back to that uh, same video folder here and that same sun that we had earlier. Uh, so you can see it's not available right now uh, because we have all supported types and you can see the uh, uh, formats right there. If we click this and we change that to all files, now we can see all the files. And this will be available if you've downloaded a nifty little codec. I'm going to show you the web page here. This uh, um, K Lite codec. You can go to download the K Lite codec. I've basically just downloaded the basic one. Um, like it says, small but extremely powerful. And it supports playback of all of these formats right here. So uh, once you download this basic one, you should be able to import in most of the formats into the pop video program. So let's go back and give it a shot. Let's find this MP4 right here, uh, apocalyptic.mp4. We can open that up and it'll load in just fine into pop video. We can play it back and do all the regular stuff we want to like uh, export into different speeds or different uh, formats and what have you. So if you go to the export tab, you have the option to export to pop video, AVI, 
or MOV. And you can change the quality of the video. Uh, higher video and audio uh, settings will have a larger file. I'm going to import in uh, another different uh, video right now. We're going to talk about how you can optimize your output size of your video. So let's go ahead and import in a video. And uh, I believe it is in, uh, nope, not that folder. It's a uh, dual format, this folder right here. All right, so let's load this in. And we have this uh, happy mime dude just uh, kind of dancing around like this. Yay. All right, so if we wanted to, we could just need, uh, chroma key this with a single click. Go to edit, chroma key. And boom, our background's all taken care of. Now, if we wanted to export this, we can go to export. Let's take a look at the info first. So you can see this is a high resolution video. It's 1536 by 2772, kind of an odd, um, you know, resolution. You can see 30 frames a second and the file size is quite large. Now, because this is a high resolution, if we export it to pop video and bring it into iClone, we may get some lag and I'll show you that in just a sec. So let's go to export first of all. And because we have all this extra real estate on the bottom and the top of this mine, we don't really need to export all that stuff. So a nifty little feature here is we can choose to uh, modify our output size uh, to manual input. Uh, you can choose this uh, value right here, or we can crop the video area. And we can move this little frame around, and we can uh, stretch it out like this, like that if we want. And if we want to uh, keep our ratio, we can just choose lock ratio. That's like in Photoshop or what have you, and stretch that uh, frame out. And that should be enough to work with. We can just click and drag down the timeline here to make sure he doesn't, uh, you know, kick out of the frame or dance of the frame. I think we should be good to go with that. So once you've done that, um, then you could, then the important option here is you want to export with preview size video as well. This is another key uh, feature that allows you to export, uh, you know, optimize your exports. Um, what that'll do is if you do that with pop video, it's going to provide you a preview version of your pop video as well as an original uh, um, resolution version. Okay, so use the crop video in combination with the uh, preview size video, export with preview size video, and you want to export those together. Now, before we do that, we can also, you know, uh, use a separate thumbnail uh, if we wanted to capture whatever is just on display on our screen. So say, for example, we wanted him to be in this uh, weird pose, okay, like a Michael Jackson pose. Then we can go ahead and capture the display, and it's going to switch to that uh, thumbnail right there. It's kind of a little bit small to see, but... Uh, we can take a look at that later if we want. And from this point on, like I mentioned, these export speeds and frame rate uh, items uh, are pretty self-explanatory. We're not going to uh, export anything at this point. Um, we talked about the range that you can export. You can decide the range. Um, however, uh, for now, we can just go ahead and export. But thankfully, I've already exported uh, this video, uh, this exact video, and we also have iClone open right here. So I have iClone open. I'm going to go to my desktop, which is where the video is saved. You can see we have this test.pop video, and the size is quite significantly lower. It's only 31 megabytes. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to right-click and drag this video from my desktop, and I'm going to open up iClone, and let's click and drag it into our scene. We'll just click and drag it in as a uh, billboard. Okay, so we have this uh, happy mime about to get uh, getting ready to dance. Now take a look at the MIMES resolution. It's not that good. Uh, it's a little bit, it's like a preview resolution. If we switch over to the material tab over here, you can see when we have our mesh selected, the plane 01, you can see that we have preview uh, resolution selected. So we can change that from preview to original. And when we do that, you can see the resolution will get a lot better. And, you know, it's 60 frames a second. It's a, or rather it's a kind of a slow motion whoopsie do or whatever you call that kind of dance flargan style i think i'm not sure anyways uh that's the original uh size now say for example we wanted to create an army of mimes so we can control uh hold the control key and click and drag and it's going to take a while to uh load up because we're you know copying a high resolution video i'm going to control click and drag again and we have we now have three full resolution mimes on our screen and notice the frames per second on the top when I begin to play. I'm going to play back. We have, we still have 60 frames per second. We're getting a little bit of, you know, lag with the mimes and everything like that. Some artifacts left behind. Now it's kind of struggling the frames per second. But that's about the max you can do with, uh, you know, a video of this size. And obviously if we tried to create, uh, you know, if I selected 
held shift in the um, scene manager here and selected all of them and control click and drag uh, one more time it's going to take a while to process uh, that only created one anyways we can create as many as we want we can create a huge army of mimes let's just give this guy this guy a little bit further back there we go all right so now if we play back we're going to have an even worse scenario where the frames per second goes down to like 33 and you can see nope it's not really working for us so what I'd want to do in this case is we can delete all of the uh, mimes except for one so let's hold shift and select all the mimes and press delete and now we have our original mime and let's switch this guy into preview mode so preview resolution so just do that and now we can click and drag a second guy click and drag uh, holding control and clicking and dragging obviously and we'll select all three control click and drag and let's create six mimes so now we have an army of mimes and now if we play back in preview mode notice that our frames per second remains at 60 because we have the preview resolution set so if I mean if you're obviously you're not going to be rendering at this point um, just stick with preview mode you know don't use any uh, original resolution when you're just uh, putting them in your scene and arranging your scene only when you're ready for you know to see the final resolution then you can switch to original resolution and obviously you'll have to expect some uh, lagging as far as the frame rate goes uh, when you have six videos that are playing at that high resolution on your screen all right but preview resolution we get a nice result like this now one final thing I wanted to mention here as well is that regardless of whether you choose preview resolution or original resolution in your project you have the option at the render stage if you go to uh, render your video you have the option at the render stage to go to the very bottom under render quality here and you can choose the pop video render size right here so I have it set to original size so regardless of whether the um, resolution is set on uh, to preview on these guys when I do render it out it'll render the original size and you can also choose custom and preview here as well but I'd recommend uh, you know normally using the uh, original size um, so you get a nice uh, resolution when you finally export so that's what it for this tutorial guys uh, thanks so much for watching make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I will see you in the next video